in a second-hand set of dimensions, in an astral plane that was never meant to fly. Somewhere in darkest ankh Morpork, a sinister plot is about to unfold. next week for my usual special. Ah! Hey, watch where you're going. See you soon. Get off. Leave me alone. Damnation, if you don't clear out, so help me, I'll... I'll... Oh, just bugger off! <clears throat> That's better. It's on nights like this I could just murder a good curry. Who's there? <laughs> hands. Would you mind putting your hands up? Why? What's happening? It's a simple courtesy. I say, put your hands up. And you, put your hands up. What did you say? <laughs> it's traditional. A well-established ritual of your actual mugger and victim relationship. You being a victim and me being the aforementioned mugger. Now, please, put your hands up. Hold on to you, what's the names? <laughs> I haven't got all night, you know. Just do it, all right? OK, OK. I don't know what this town is coming to. A man can't even have a quiet drink in peace. <laughs> now, that wasn't too hard, was it? Now, if you just... Oh, bugger. <laughs> Unseen University. The home of the greatest wizards on the Discworld. And one or two of the worst. Now, listen carefully. 
with all these rumors of a dragon. But, sir, dragons don't exist. At least, not unless people believe in them. Quite, quite. Nevertheless, with all these rumors of a dragon on the rampage, the wizards of Unseen University must fulfill their civic responsibility. We must seek out this dragon and destroy it. Yes, but how? Who? Leave the how up to me. As for the who, well, I know of the ideal person. Why don't you go and fetch Rincewind for me? Rincewind! Rincewind! Wake up! The Arch-Chancellor wants to see you! This sodding thing hasn't got a doorknob! I'm just dimensionally impaired. It's my money pouch, all right. Now, if I only had more of the fittings. No, I can't shift it. That doesn't work. Of course it's me. Who are you expecting? Death? Unseen University, Thermaturgy 101. Failed. Well, it's not little trinkets and paperwork that really count in life. I've got, got, well, I've got a really pointy hat. That's a start. I really must do some heavy research into this bed. Eight or nine solid hours should be sufficient. Yes. A mysterious shape, a sinister shape, a shape fraught with, with, shapeness. It must be a plot element, otherwise there'd be a better label. Aha! Portalis Exitus, or the common doorway. See, I'm not a wizard for nothing, you know. A snoring chest? That's novel. Well, I'll soon fix that. Nope! I can't shift it. Aha! Portalis Exitus. See? I'm not a wizard for nothing, you know.
Ah, if it isn't young Rayquin. Rincewin, sir. Rincewin, quite. Come in. We need to talk. That is, I need to talk. And you listen. No doubt you've been hearing all sorts of rumors about this dragon that supposedly is terrorizing the town. Uh, uh dragon? As in the uh, classic fire breathing city toasting. Shut up! Yes, pretty much. Scaly, vain, like shiny object, that species of kidney. And what we need to do is to ensure that the unseen university is properly represented in the attempt to dispose of it. If some yokel simply slays the wretched thing without our help, the people will begin to ask just what wizards are for. Actually, sir, what are wizards for? Wizards are firmly behind big dinners. And if you want to keep on eating yours, you'll go and see about this dragon. Surely, sir, dragons don't logically exist. Shut up! Dragons exist if you believe in them. And the average man in the street does believe. Or at least believes in them enough to give us big rewards if they think we've gotten rid of the thing. Do you follow me? Not really. Shut up! Not interested in excuses. Too much sloppy thinking around here. Run down to the library and fetch me a copy of Featherwinkle's concise compendium of Dragon's Lairs. Once we've read that, we'll know how to track the scaly blighter down. You still here? Standing around like something unhygienic? Do it now! Please. Hmm. Golden thingamies. Must be good to be the Arch Chancellor. Oh, well, this one's not a statue. I think this one used to be a frog out in the garden. Ah, oh, well, he never should have asked to be turned into a handsome plinth. Well, now, this door's all sticky. Why does it smell of fruit? Press this curiosity thing too far, then, shall we? Actually, on close examination, this would seem to be some sort of subtropical arboreal ape. A magical accident in the library turned the librarian into an orangutan. He has since resisted all efforts to turn him back much preferring the handy long arms, the prehensile toes, and the right to scratch himself in public. Um, hello? Ooh. You're not in charge here, are you? Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, I see. Well, that explains the filing system. Look, um... I don't know if you're quite the person that I want to see. Ooh. Yes, well, it, it's hard to explain, really. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um. Well, this is wonderful. I never knew I could speak monkey. Did you get the number of that donkey cot? Hi, do you mind if I monkey about in the library for a while? Did you get the number of that donkey cot? 
May I take a book from the library, please? Walk, walk. Excuse me? Walk, walk, wait. I see. Um, I need something in order to take out a book. Walk, walk. Toothpaste? Fingers? Gloves? Something in your hand? Walk. A dentist? Halitosis? You want, you want some mouthwash? That's it. You want some mouthwash? I'm sorry, but I'm already spoken for. Whoa. Oh, a library card. <laughs> Why didn't you say so in the first place? What happens if I just barge in without giving you a library card? Yes. Now, look, unfortunately, I don't have one, Ape. Ooh. A, a, ape pun. Yeah, upon my person. Yes, upon my person. Phew. I didn't say monkey. Did you get the number of that donkey cot? Hey, whose monkey is this? <coughs> Did you get the number of that donkey cot? Excuse me, my dear sir. Could you get me a tome called Featherwinkle's Concise Compendium of Dragon's Lairs? <coughs> I see. <laughs> yes. Me, uh, yes, I suppose so. <laughs> mm-hmm. Quite. Look, is there someone else here that I can speak to? <laughs> well, you know, someone who isn't a monkey. <laughs> Did you get the number of that donkey cot? <laughs> No, I'll come back and get a book later. Walk, walk, walk. Yes, I've given up. No, no not given, monkey. Hey, oh, damn. <laughs> Did you get the number of that donkey cot? This seems like a good cue to cease this whole silly conversation. That doesn't work. Ye illustrious tome of levitation. Oh yes, that's that's levitating, all right. Oh dear, there's little pamphlets living in it. That doesn't work. A golden banana? A golden banana? That doesn't work. Yes, I think perhaps our best move would be to keep slightly upwind of this one. Well, that and keep out of arm's reach. Psst. Hey, buddy. Who, me? Have you ever thought about the advantages of owning land on the Fremen Wanger Peninsula? Isn't that all underwater? That's just its advantage, friend. Think of it, a seaside retreat where the sea can actually be the one total dominating element of the view. Gosh, yes. Let me take advantage of this once-in-a-lifetime offer. What, really? Nah, only kidding. I just want it to be as pleasant as possible as a sort of aid to conversation. Hey, that's really cruel. Building up my hopes only to dash me down. You know, being a confidence trickster is a hard job. Well, perhaps you need a holiday. <laughs> right, but where to? Where to? Not a lot of peace at resorts these days. I hear the Framenwanga Peninsula is fairly quiet. Why don't your lips sync with your words? L space. The library is a nexus of L space. Within these shelves, all possible pasts and futures can be found. Frankly, it's making me feel a bit ill. What's that under your coat? Hourglasses. Care to buy an hourglass? Where did you get all of those? Fell off the back of a donkey cart, sir. You are an extremely silly man. Hey, I'm not the one wearing a dress. What's that banana doing in your ear? 
Now that's my special ticket into the library. It can get you into the shelves. It can get you any special service from the librarian you want. There's only one of these in existence. Yeah, but why is it in your ear? The mystic nature of the universe is not to be discussed idly. Let us say that with our thoughts we make the world, and that reality is only as we perceive it to be. Like dragons? Uh-huh, could be. So why is that banana in your ear? What banana? Look, I've had enough of this. How much do you want for it? For what? For the banana! It's not for sale. Not for all the gold in the kingdom, buddy. Not for all the gold in the kingdom. Oh, really? No, not really. I mean, bring me all the gold in the kingdom and the banana's yours. Right, well, don't be a stranger. Cheers.